Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm guys. Joe. I'm Lisa. Let me turn the kettle off because it's making too much noise. Yeah. So it'll take a while. Okay. But hi and welcome to the first in a series of um, What's Cooking Wednesday. And now you're live in Joe Lisa's kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> this is exciting. Welcome, 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 welcome. And before we go any further, a big, big happy birthday to yes. our, well, one of our favorite supporters. Yeah. AGG Grant. AGG Grant. Happy birthday, lady. Hope you're having an awesome day. I think she's resting now. Yeah. After having some treatment yesterday. So, welcome. Oh, yeah, I got it backwards. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Remember the thumbs up. Joe, Lisa, Lisa and we're cooking live. live. <laughs> and we can't wait. There's only 100 of you on here right now, but we're going to begin. Please hold on and wait. Yeah, really? No, no, the 100. Oh, <laughs> wait. Yes, we're going to start now because if we wait for the thousands to come, they might come in too late and we'll spend more than the hour and take up too much of your time. So we're going to start. So today on the menu, as voted by our subscribers yeah. yesterday, is courgette and saltfish. Yeah. Cooked up like how we normally cook cabbage, cabbage and saltfish. And we're making coconut rice to go with it. Yeah, we hope that you love Thanks it. Thanks and welcome. Who have we got in the house? We're just saying that we're ready to start because we don't want to use up too much of your time. So here's what we have so far for the for the um, courgette and saltfish. So that's a big, hefty courgette. And when you leave it like that, it lasts for long, long, long. Once you cut it, though, it has to be go refrigerated, the, the rest yeah. of it. So, so that's it's what I'm regular courgette, and some people call it zucchini. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so we must say that it's regular zucchini. But if you leave it to grow after you've reaped the rest of the crop, then you can have one or two that gets really big, and you can use it as a lovely steamed vegetable. Has a lovely flavor, and it soaks up other flavors as well. So this massive so on one its, on its own, it doesn't have much flavor. No, but no, it but soaks it. up flavors really yeah. well. So I'm going to use that much, and I'm going to peel it first. Are you going to peel all of it off? Yeah. Is the skin quite tough? Yeah. So the, the older ones like this, we cut the skin off, peel the skin off. When it's a young, regular size, we don't have a small one in here. I could show you. But a regular size one, we just wash it and use it with the skin on. Check to see what people are saying, Joe. And in the meantime, the salt fish is boiling. Hi, Verona. Hi, Hi Jay. Welcome. welcome. Yvonne Martin, welcome back. Ah, and Yvonne, yesterday we mistakenly thought you were one of our other subscribers. Yvette. Yvette Martin. Yeah. But we're glad to have you. Hi, Deborah Coyne. Blessings. And Norma Jones. Thank you so much for popping in. What do you have to know, Lisa? Oh, Lisa is just washing off the salt fish. So it's had its first boil. And I'm putting it on just to make sure I don't get it too salty. And I'm cutting up the massive courgette. Well, she just showed a piece of it. And she's cut a piece off. So we're yeah. using that bit. You want to carry on? Yeah. So how is everybody doing? I see. Oh, Sylvia. Hi. Hi, Sylvia. I am coming over for <laughs> dinner. Come on. Come on over. Oh, nobody does anything about our hey. apron. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> Stop threatening with Sylvia and come on over. Just come. Yeah. No more threats. Just come on over. No more threats. Just come on over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to leave that here so I can see the comments. Oh, the Campbell family. Hi. Hi, Bethany. Bethany. <laughs> Bye. Okay, right, so that's the piece I'm going to use, and I'm just going to break that. Like KBJ is asking, was this one from our garden? No, this no. one was not. This was from a veg, a, what's it? A an organic um, veg box that I bought for ten pounds. Okay. So I'm putting the peel. When we have peels, we put them in this, and once it's full, we take that out to our compost heap. Mm. Because we have, we do our own compost to make our garden beautiful. Oh, the apron, nice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what was that big thing? That's a big <laughs> courgette, otherwise zucchini. called zucchini. So that I just cut off a piece. I just cut that piece off it. 
Yeah, I'm going to wash it, grate it, and that's what we're going to use to cook with the sawfish. I'll put this out, out of the way. Yeah. And with that is going to go carrots, onions, some celery, some peppers, some tomatoes. These are from the garden. Yeah, the tomatoes. Garlic and a little bit of scotch bonnet. So we just start cutting things up so we don't waste any time. So here, just going to grate the courgette. So I cut it into four pieces, and I'm using this part of the grater. So it comes out in shreds. Yeah. Let's see. Wow, that's a biggie. Yes, <laughs> is. Yeah. Yeah. If you leave, if you leave them on the tree to um, fully get fit, mature, then it becomes that big project that you can grate and steam up with other veggies. Yeah, just like with cabbage. We love doing that. So two pieces are done. Third piece now. Hope that's not too much annoying noise. Deborah, wow, that's a biggie. Good morning, everyone. It's afternoon here. Well, it's I don't think morning it's morning for something. anybody. Really? No. Oh, yes, 12 o'clock or 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock or, or 6 o'clock. <laughs> 6 o'clock for us here in the UK. So, how is everybody's day been? Is everybody okay? Can the camera go any lower? Would love to see the food. That's a good idea. But then you can't see us. Which one you prefer? We are food. <laughs> 21, you see. <laughs> right. This is the courgette anyway. I'm grating it right in the bowl. Tell us if that look is better, if you can see better what's happening. So there. Oh, it's not a camera. That's why it's a laptop. So that's how much courgette I have. So which is about... Half a cabbage, half a regular size cabbage. Then I'm go going to now peel the carrot. So put that there. Get my box in front of me here. Peel Who it. does composting at home as well? Who puts um, food products that they don't use and bits of paper and so on in a compost? And garden waste and grass and lawn cuttings and yeah. We have a compost bin. So things like these just get added to it. And then later on, we have the lovely in this fresh spring, compost. Yeah, in the spring, we Jeez, take the compost garden. from it and use it in the garden. And that's how our garden always looks so lush. So there's a carrot, grated, well, not grated yet. I'm going to wash it. Let's see. I'm going to it. Your girl, Lala, hi. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, and Deborah says, I miss my husband's tomato and cucumber garden that he used to oh. make. I miss him more. Monday will make one year. Oh, Who is that? He passed. Deborah Coins. Oh, husband. sorry, Deborah. You know what grief is like, Deborah. You're never alone. It's something that's shared by most of humanity. But today we send a virtual hug. Yeah. All right, Deborah. And a kiss. <laughs> hey, Lala from KBJ. So you know what? This is going to be our indoor outfit, indoor cooking outfit. Do you know the outdoor one, what it looks you know like? the yard one? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. type, type fast. Who remember this? Tell me what you remember about this. Quick, type fast. <laughs> right, so in here now, I've got the carrot and the courgette. Grated carrot, grated courgette. That's done. Pepper Joe is doing, can you see? Yeah. So peppers, um, different colors, garlic. It almost tomato. looks as pretty as when Lala is cooking. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Lala, Lala, we always see. admire how beautiful the veggies look, and we just know, you know, that it's doing your body good. Yeah. When you use a variety of multicolored fruits and veg, the more nutrients you get from it, especially if they're fresh yeah. and in season. The more in season they are, the better they are for you. 
the less you spend on food miles as well. Right, the chat running from me. <laughs> How was your day, Jolisa? Says Janiki. Hi, Janiki. We Janiki. had a good day. It has been a busy day, but we're so happy that we decided to work all day and then do the live after that. So after this, it's relaxed. Well, tonight we have prayer meeting. So we're going to a prayer meeting online, of course, tonight after the live. Okay. So who remembers my spoon? Yeah, nobody. Lala <laughs> say thank you, Deborah. Thank you, ladies. You made my oh, you made me cry. I needed that hug and kiss. Oh, even a virtual one. Oh, Deborah, it will be okay. It will be okay. You never ever get over it, as we know. Tot you never totally get over it, but just that day by day you get used to living without your loved one. But you never ever get over it. Oh, celery washed. Yeah. And then I'm just going to cut some tiny bits off. We don't like it really big and chunky. We like when it's tiny pieces. So that way you're not really tasting the big chunky celery. And I prefer celery as well when it's cooked, not raw. I don't, none of us eat raw celery. Right, what can I cut up? Everything's all, done. Except for onion, it's all done. Saltfish is done. So, saltfish, just boiled twice, rinsed a little, and then just flaked. And then the veggies, can you lift that up? Almost as beautiful as Miss Lala's. <laughs> I was going to add the onion, and then we'll take you over to the stove. No, fingers crossed. You will see. <laughs> and the let me see doesn't catch on fire. Is that no, any turn the other one on? Turn the other one. Okay. Maybe a little bit on. Okay. Yes, yeah, so what's everybody been busy with today? Oh, should I put the kettle back on? It's going to be or noisy. Should be hot enough now. What did we need it for? The saltfish boiler for the rice. Yeah. Could just put the pot on with some water. Oh no, are you going to saute the onion? I'm doing the, this one. Okay. So let me just start. All right. Right, so over here in a pan, can that be unplugged? Yeah. Taking you over to the stove. So see me pan there, the back one. This one? Yeah. I'm going to put some oil in it. Sorry, guys. One day, one day, we're going to have proper setup and have a camera that can bend and show you right down in the pot. We have that in about it can't go live. It can't go live. Yeah. Unless we set up some contraption, which one day, one day we'll figure out. <laughs> okay. Um, we... The so oil in the pan. Oh, Deborah had dentist this morning. Even chopping like Chinese slice and dice. Oh, <laughs> KBJ, the spoon got burnt in the pot. Yes, like yes, <laughs> KBJ, the prize is yours. The prize is yours. You know about <laughs> Deborah. I like is celery. Down here, just no. waiting on the onion. You go and put it on. Yeah. No, I'll just do this and wash it down. Give me a seed, get in from the big ones. It doesn't matter, it's not very big. And it's, it's cooked, still, it's edible. cooked. It's all right, it's edible. Shall I put any more? No? Maybe the, a piece of that one? All right, so red onion and a little piece of white one. And if I cry, <laughs> we'll wipe my tears. Washing my hands. Right. Next piece of onion, the white one, the dice. Mm. 
Now I'm going to test the oil with a little piece of the onion. If it sizzles nicely, then it's ready. Down a little lower. Can you see in there? Yeah. Is Not it on? a sound. I just turn it down. I want to turn it down and I want it to be hot. <laughs> that you call anticlimax. Listen to big sizzle. <laughs> and you man turn on this up. You never seen it like this. Uh, but anyway, I just love these beautiful, we'll call them lala vegetables. Lala veg. Lala veg. <laughs> All right. Just finished my lunch, Lala said. Teeth look at time, Lala. Stay with me. <laughs> um, oh, Deborah had dentist this morning. Norma, I've never cooked celery. We'll try it out. Yes, really, when you we know cook how you chop with up onion, yeah, put just, to just celery. add some celery. Anything you cook, like callaloo, cabbage, salt fish, salt fish, and then put some celery in it. Add because you know what the flavor is in chicken noodle, where all of us Jamaicans and love cock soup and cock soup. Celery, celery. Give it the flavor. Yes, it's celery that gives the flavor. All right, Lala, just finished my lunch. Crackers and guava juice. Boy. Can you hear that? I hear sizzling. Let's see if we can get some sizzling action. So all the veggies now in. Sauteing. So all the veggies are sauteing. There's a little piece dropped on the on the left hand side of the stove. Okay. So clean it in. So saute. Lisa, you have finished. Burn up a spoon. In no, I'm burn up in here. Remember, oh, yeah. I'm not burn up. I did hot side fire. Hot fire. fire. What I do, burn it up. <laughs> All right. So we leave that to saute for some minutes, and okay. then we'll add this salt fish. Deborah, th that have camera that will follow you, but. It only follows your face. Yeah, we have one of those. Oh, the little, but you can't gimbal. use it on the live. We mm. can't use it to do the live. Mm. Um, sorry, I mean, they not that. Yeah, we understand. Did you answer me when I texted? Did you answer when and I texted? Pauline, earlier? hi, Joe Lisa. Good afternoon to everyone. I am just passing through. I will watch later. All right, thanks, Pauline. Thank you so much. Oh. And Ricky, hi guys. Ricky Banks, we have a new Ricky. Hi, Ricky. Oh, Lala. Yes, celery goes well in soup or with meat. That's true. Yvonne, after years of cooking, I don't, I don't onion cry anymore. Oh, oh. <laughs> I am somewhat immune. Lol. <laughs> I have a friend. If you stick black pepper up her nose, she would not even sneeze. Really? really? <laughs> Yeah, black pepper makes me sneeze sometimes. It's going to make us sneeze when we put the black pepper in this. Yeah. Right. For we need to start the next pot. Yeah. For our what's the rice called? Coconut, Coconut rice. rice. I'm going to tell you the process and then I'm going to start. So I need this chopping board. Oh, I haven't seen Amy, but maybe this would be good for Amy, you know. Ricky was my husband's name. Oh, oh. Deborah. Uh -uh. Oh, damn. Oh, Lisa, I forgot the, the um, scotch oh, bonnet. Scotch bonnet. Let's cut a little piece. Okay. Who remembered that today's AGG's birthday? Today's AGG's birthday, and she says hi to everyone. She has a church, what was it? It was a prayer meeting. She has a prayer meeting on. But she did say she was going to try to pop in. Um, I'm a twin, but my twins, but lost my twin sister when she was one year old. Oh, Ricky. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Ricky. And you're missing a lot, I must yeah. tell you. You're missing out a whole lot. Life is great. Life is twin. not fair to you, Ricky. <laughs> you have every reason to complain. Norma, I always juice celery, cucumber, and ginger. We do that too. We do and that, carrots yeah. in the mornings. Very refreshing. We do that as well. Right. Salt fish now going to be added. Oh, salt fish going to be added. Wonder if I need that light on this side. Can you see, peeps? What do we need? Let me see if I turn this light on. Does that help? 
So some fish added. And the aroma is to die for with all those veggies cooking. Yeah, so um, about two minutes with the saltfish in, then I'm going to add the courgette and carrots. And then it will be done. Whoa. And then black pepper and that's it. And the next rice pot. No, wait. All right. For the rice, I'm going to stop talking for a bit and tell you. Now, um, why I said I hope Amy um, was here. She was asking how to cook some Jamaican things. Amy is not Jamaican, but she loves Jamaicans and Jamaican food. Now, for the... For what we call perfect rice, what you need if you're using basmati rice in particular, you need if you're using one cup of rice, then you need double that of water. So if it's one, if it's two cups of rice, you need four cups of water. But generally, after a while, you get used to knowing yeah, the you know, feel of it and how without how water to measure on the top. Yeah. yeah. And it's better that you have too little water than have too much. Okay. You whistle and ride. Right and right whistle. So right now, turn that down a little. Turn the head down, please. Yeah. Right now, I'm just going to chop some onions really finely, just a little bit to saute for the rice. Shall I put that one on? Yeah, put that, put that on. And the onion here is for nothing more than a little bit of flavor, okay. nothing Good else. Job. Because I'm going to put coconut milk in there and, and I'm also going to use a katsu. <laughs> right, we're going to add these now. That's it. So let's say about a tablespoon and a half or one heaped tablespoon of onion. That's all you need for the rice. So in a pan, I'm going to put this little bit of onion. In a little bit of, you can use either oil or butter, whichever one suits you. If you like using olive oil because it's a little bit healthier, olive oil can do. If you prefer the taste of butter like my friend Lala, then a little bit of butter will do. Somebody said something about my apron. Aprons are great. Thank you. Is it too hot? What is in it? Butter? Okay. You can cover yours a little bit. You put this um so I'm using Black about pepper. a tablespoon of butter. We hate having to turn our backs on you guys. Um, the aprons are great, thank you. And it says Leroy something and then it disappeared. Never been to the UK before, Deborah. And Marjorie, I'm not sure what Marjorie says, Marjorie Brown. Well, welcome. You're in the UK now, all of you. You're in the UK, in our kitchen, cooking with us. <laughs> oh, that's like busy now, in the camera. All right, there's my pan. Just a little bit of butter melted, and I'm just going to add a little bit of the onion. As I say, just about a tablespoon or so of onion. That's it. And I just want a little flavor in it, so um, nothing major. I don't want it burned. I don't want it to be frying. Just really, really lightly sizzling away. Right? Yeah. All right. Can you wash your hand and check the phone? Please. Do you want this covered over? No, because I don't want to sweat too, sweat too much. I don't like it too watery. Right. Marja Brown says hi. I want a, I want some glasses. Moya Grace, hi. hi Moya. Oh, we miss you, Moya. Thank you so much for coming back. And how is our little daughter? <laughs> 
I assume she's not so little anymore. We're washing up as we go. Moya, we had a vote as to what to cook for our first episode of What's Cooking Wednesday, which is today. So we're doing zucchini and saltfish with um, coconut oh, rice. <laughs> And we're washing up as we go. Have you ever seen this look? This is how I look when I'm studious. <laughs> right, so I can see perfectly well that Moya Gray says I can smell your food through my phone. Give me some, Gompa. <laughs> and Marjorie, hi. Um, Leroy White, happy, happy day do, to both of you. Um, both of you are chef. I am coming for some of that dinner <laughs> tonight. So the Bless. onions are softened. And all I'm going to add now is just water, then noot, um, the cock soup, and then the grace. Coconut milk. Coconut milk. The girl Lala, yes, I love to use butter just a little. It brings a great creamy taste to the dish. Agree? And Norma says, ladies, if you had your own restaurant, what would you call it? Joe Lisa restaurant. <laughs> We'd have to think about Ain't it. nothing better than that. <laughs> We'd have to think about it longer than that, ladies. Uh, Marjorie Brown, hi, I'm here. Love the aprons. Thank you. Moya, Grace, I miss you guys too. She's doing oh. great. Moya, you must stay away so long. And tell us about the business. In a bit, we'll contact Moya so you can yeah. tell us about the business. Already. And cooking with bling and lifestyle. Up top. Top, 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 top. Bling, welcome to our kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> And Sylvia Duncan, how can I get one of those aprons? You can come over here and take off this one off of me. <laughs> Just joking, Miss Sylvia. Moya Grace, oh, that sounds great. Yummy. All right, you know, this storm blow down no fell coconut tree, them answer, right? So we never get forget no um coconut. So where if you use <laughs> this, right? Everybody, all right with that? So about half a pack of this, it's I'll tell you how many grams. It's 50 grams in this, so I'm going to use about 25 grams of coconut milk. So it's creamed coconut powder. So it's like milk powder. But when it goes in hot water, it dissolves. And then this, I'm not going to add any salt because I'm using, shall I use all of this? Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to use all of this for flavor, right? So in goes. Water is hot, so this these two are going in. And I'm going to taste the carrot and courgette to see if it's cooked. What time have we got? Woohoo! We haven't even done half an hour and we're almost done. We can sit and chat in a bit. It could do with a little salt. Did you put any at all? No. Usually if it's salt fish, I'm yeah. gonna boil it, boil it. Because I boil the salt fish twice. It could do with a little salt, so I'm going to add salt, but it doesn't need anything else. It tastes nice. It just tastes like cabbage and saltfish. Really nice. Okay, coconut milk gone in. And of course, you if you like mixed veggies, you can add some mixed veg. You know the frozen mixed veg, or some people prefer to add the canned one. If it's a canned one, I would add it at the end when the rice is cooked and just um, mix. Pull the fork through it so that everything is mixed in. All right, cock soup, who like this one? It's going in now. Okay. Leroy. You retracted something, yeah. Deborah. I'm sorry for your loss, Ricky. Losing a twin is almost like losing a part of yourself. That's so true. Hi, guys. I love your cooking shows. You both make me laugh, and you being <laughs> sisters is fantastic. You can see Lisa, and I can't. Oh, glasses. <laughs> um, right. Now, this is my look. <clears throat> what did I touch? Oh. Um, singles, singles, singles. Deborah Cohen, I'm guessing that Joe was born first. Otherwise, 
<laughs> then it would be called Lisa Jo. No, we'll tell you why it's called Jo Lisa. <laughs> and Moya Grace. Okay, I missed what you said earlier. What did you say about the business? Sorry, I missed that. Oh, later on when the pans are sort of simmering, we want to hear about your business. So we'll give you a chance to type. If it's something that will interest people here, which I hope it is. And we can give some support because we are a supportive community. Yeah. Hope that's okay. Oh, oh guys, I just looked up and I saw 21,000 of you and I only see 1,200 thumbs up. What's up with that? So, guys, please do give a thumbs up as soon as you come on. Please, I need to see it jumping up now. No? Who hasn't shown their thumb yet? Nobody's. Oh, no. Yes, one. Well done. Thank you. Rice is going in, and I'll show you our little cup. When we say one cup, oh, we try not to really too much yeah. rice, but that's just a little cup measurement that we use. So I'm going to do three, two yeah. or three cups. Um, your girl Lala, I'm still here heading back inside, but we'll be on my headphones. Okay, keep the job, Lala. Don't make them don't make them um do your nothing. Moya Grace, okay, awesome. Thank you so much. And Janika Reed, thumbs up. Yes, yeah, so that's that so far. And the glasses off again so I can see properly. Only need them to read. Right. Rice pot in this is boiling. It's just the noodle. noodle. And the coconut milk. Oh, but I have a lump butter. of noodle there that needs a little unlumping. You want to put yeah. it in that bowl and... Oh, no, it's okay now. Okay. All right. So, yeah, this is going to be controversial. Start cussing now, some of you. Yeah. Don't say anything. Yeah, start, start cussing now. Those who think cussing must go now. Quick, start cuss, and then we'll cuss no back. <laughs> Stir and see if you need any more. One next set of cussing, you know, one man did a cuss we last oh, week about yeah. this now. Oh, All yes. Right. I don't know if a man or a man, but somebody else was cussing us. Right. right. After that point, when it starts to boil up, how we cook rice, we turn it all the way to the lowest point on the cooker and just leave it to cook. And the courgette is, courgette done. is done. Completely done. There's a chair. Thank you. So I've turned the courgette and saltfish off because it's it just went back to busy and came off. Mm. Yeah. I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, hopefully we got what we wanted earlier. Right, gas is on. Um, I liked it when I came on. Like it, people. Thank you, Deborah. Yes, some more have liked it. Some still haven't, but can't That's force life. them. I can't come over That's to where they life. are. <laughs> the girl, Lala, I'll be limited in typing because the boss's son loves to walk around and watch. Shh. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, Yvonne, recently an American comedian was offended with the name Kaksu. <laughs> In one leg of Jamaica, Kaksu, 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 just name so. They have some other names or things that we find strange as well, but you just accept yes. people and their culture. Um, thumbs up the live, you guys. Let's support. Thank you, Moya. Well, oh, Carmen. Cameron retracted a message. I'm not sure what Carmen was saying. But, um, yeah, in school as well, when we, we've had, like, culture week, and in our lessons we do Jamaican food, um, They've not been offended. The kids have not been offended, but shocked. Find it funny too. And um, yeah, that we call something cock soup. <laughs> <laughs> but they love Jamaican foods. Yeah. Marjorie Brown, ladies, I have not boiled saltfish in ages. I soak it overnight and it's soft and not trashy like when it's boiled. You can try it and let me know. I have tried it before, Marjorie. But it depends on what you're using it for. Yeah. Some in some dishes, taste. it is okay, and in some, some others, to me, soggy. Yeah. Right. Carmen, Cameron, just coming on. I didn't have any Wi-Fi. Okay. Aww. Welcome now that you're on. 
And you see the um, pots behind yeah. us, hopefully. Deborah Coyne, I'm part Italian and we soak the fish in soak the fish in milk. I've seen that done for what dish again? Oh. Well, no, not we've not seen salt chicken. fish. I've chicken. seen fish, so real chicken. fish. Yeah. Oh. Like um, what do they call it? Um uh, I've mm. seen the milk, the fish soaked in real milk, cow's milk. Oh. And it's called it's it has a name but I can't remember what it is. So is the zucchini finished? Yes, the zucchini. I and you should do a dish so people can see what it looks like. Just the zucchini put, on its own. Well, no. tell, you tell us, guys. Do you want to see now what it looks like? Verna, Veron Phillips, blessed afternoon. Much love from New York. New York in the house. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Pot smelling nice. Oh, it's tell your hood. It smells, smells so good in here. <laughs> yeah. Deborah coined the dried fish. Okay. Oh, soaked in milk. I've never done it. I've not. I've do seen you use the milk afterwards, or is it what just to soak? Cook? I think the French cook something where they. Oh, the term is just evading me right now, but they put the milk, put the fish in milk. And then lightly, not in steam, it just oh, slightly. Poach. Poach, yeah. Poach. Oh, yes. Fish. Sometimes when we're doing fish pies, some recipes yeah. tell you to do the fish that way. Yeah. Poach it in milk and then. And Deborah is in New York too. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely to what, KBJ? Absolutely what? What are you absolutely in about, KB? <laughs> Thanks for joining us live, guys. We are so sweating. Grateful. Yeah, it's a hot day. <laughs> it's Monday, hot. Tuesday, Wednesday this week. Here, hot. Ooh, last mm -hmm. week we were saying this week, um, next week this time we cloaked up or we cold. <laughs> Amy Pike, bless up. Sorry, I'm late. Oh. Didn't get the notification I usually get for the premieres and live ones. Oh, oh. and we were aiming this at. At you, you, Amy. so that you could cook some Jamaican food that we know you love. Do you finish? Anyway, she'll watch it again and see it. Do you finish cooking the coconut rice? It is being cooked now. Is Shall I tell Amy? I need to go down. Let me turn it down. Okay. okay. So once it starts boiling up, we just turn the flame to the Amy, lowest and I will, leave it. I will rewatch from the very beginning. Yes. yes. Okay. It takes about 12 to 15 minutes or so if you have the right amount of water and so in it. Um, for the rice to cook. It doesn't take long at all. Brown rice, on the other hand, it takes much, much longer. longer. And if you make like three times as long. If you're making, um, what's this wet rice dish called? Risotto. Oh, risotto. It takes long as well, but it wouldn't be the same type of rice. It would be a different type. Yeah. Right. So, Amy, I think you know what we are cooking today, right? Because she Amy was, was on part vote. of the vote yeah. yesterday. So, we're cooking, well, we have just finished cooking the courgette and salt fish. And on this stove now, cooking is the coconut, the coconut rice. Coconut rice. So Amy, maybe I should show Amy what the pack. Oh, there's the pack. The Which coconut. One? Oh, so I don't know if you get this, Amy. And anybody else who's interested in coconut and do have any coconut trees to climb. In the supermarket, we get this one. Grace. But there are other kinds, and there's a the canned one as well. Yeah. Grace coconut milk powder. Just add water. So that's the one we use when we can't get real coconut or, um, or the one in the can we use. Um, Amy, oh boy, sounds good. Yes, I remember from yesterday. Good. And Deborah, I'm also half French. And, wow. And they make a sole menu. Mm -hmm. I hope I, I bet I just chop up that word. <laughs> sole min, menu. I've never this heard of it. M E U N I E R E. Monier. Monier. All right. Amy Pike, <laughs> I think I can find coconut powder. I've seen. Canned, I think I can find coconut powder. I've seen canned coconut milk. Any one of them will do. Any of those will do. But yeah. what we do, just to give it some additional flavor, just chop a little bit of onion, but try to chop it finely, and just saute it in a little bit of butter, not brown, not um, fried, mm -hmm. just just lightly softened. To a like, minute, yeah. to a minute and a half. Right. So you don't That's want it. the flame to be high. You just want the flavor to go in the butter or the oil. You can use olive oil. You can use any vegetable oil. If it's olive oil, you've got to keep the flame really, really low, low because it 
burns easily. Right. And you right. So after the onion is sauteed in the oil for a little bit, then you just add your hot water to the pan, the hot water, or just regular water, but bring it up to a boil. We want it to come to a boil so that it will melt the coconut cream. Yeah. So the coconut milk powder is a powder. So you need to reconstitute it by adding hot water. And then you can add chicken noodle to it as well or cock soup. Cock soup. Amy, do you know cock soup? Somebody on here not too long ago was saying that somebody, somebody a chef in the US was or, offended. Was it a chef? She said. No, somebody did a comedy or something. Comedy. Somebody anyway was offended by the term cock soup. <laughs> Guys, please remember to give the like, give the, yeah. the live Some a thumbs up. Some of the neighbors have a barbecue. Are they? Yeah. I can see smoke going up. Oh. It's a barbecue and not <laughs> burning down. Hope so. All right. Amy says, I love cock soup. <laughs> uh, and your girl Lala, okay? Headphones on now. <laughs> Amy even ordered some packets of that and pumpkin and soup. Some oh, yes. Yes. we ordered from the US. I think it's sold on Amazon. Oh, I've seen it on Amazon. Okay, we can get um, it in our regular supermarkets, thank God. And there are some Asian shops or Indian yeah. shops as well that sell it. Amy says, Yes, by Amazon. Oh, good. Ooh. Mm. Maybe because you put cup soup. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Uh, Amy, a mixed packet includes fish tea too. Okay, wow. I tried that for the first time. Yes, we tried the fish one. If it's nice if you have real fish in it, <laughs> if you cook real fish. Um, the message is hell for me, but I like the spiciness of the cock soup. <laughs> I bet it's that word why they're yeah, holding cock. it. So you see, um, YouTube is holding it back, holding Amy's comment back because she said I like the spiciness of the cock soup. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so cock soup is just a Jamaican term for a nice spicy soup mix. Oh, we do we still have Moya? Moya? Moya told us she was working on a business idea. Moya, would you like to tell us about it now? Um, what you can do is type today and then we'll do a stream yard, is it called? Stream yard. Yeah where you can actually another come day. on and talk another day so we hear about the business and we're willing to support as much as we can. We are a lovely, small, supportive community, and I so like that. Yes, I guess in the USA it has a different connotation. That's true. <laughs> so, um, uh, Moya, if you're here, we'd love to hear it now. Moya, are you in the building still? Marjorie Brown, ladies, I have not boiled saltfish. We saw that one. I have not bought saltfish boiled, but we oh, saw that okay. coming to it. Mm. Can you get saltfish, Amy? Oh, you could have plugged that back in since it's staying there. Mm. Amy says, I get teased a lot about it. Jeez. A lot when was talking about it a while back. Yeah. Get what Samuel um teased about. Oh, okay. Coxu. Samuel, welcome. Good evening, ladies. Just dropping in. Thank you so much for dropping in. Yeah. What do you think of our apron? Samuel, I don't know if you were here yesterday with the vote. And if you know what we're cooking, here. I'm not sure. Amy don't know what to put instead. Instead of cock? Huh? <laughs> Amy, that's... Say chicken noodle. I don't know if I can find salted cod. Really? Oh, so don't know what to put instead. Oh. Someone said, love them. Some people use salt mackerel. mackerel. Oh, yeah. Can you get salt mackerel? You know what I love? Redderin. Redderin. I'm almost sure Amy not going to be able to stand the smell of redderin. <laughs> Instead of salted cod. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought you meant what word can you use instead of cod? 
knows that that Amy means she means instead of salt and cut. Gerald, hi, nice, love the apron. Tax Thank you. Pass, tax, tax. <laughs> and this is now our cooking uniform, right? Indoor cooking uniform. Indoor cooking uniform. Who knows? We have outdoor cooking uniform. We have outdoor cooking uniform. <laughs> How much time we have left? It's a 45, 15 minutes. Woo. Yeah. Uh, rooster soup. Yes, you can say rooster yes. soup. <laughs> <laughs> The rice should have That's gone crazy. 10, 12 minutes already. And it only takes about 12 to 15 minutes and it's all done. And if by chance you didn't put enough water in and the grains are tough, just add a little bit more water. I've just added a tiny bit. Okay, just add a little bit more water and put the lid on. Or if you, uh, if you put too much water in it and it is soft, there's nothing that can be done. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I said at the start, it's better that you put not enough water in, in there than too much water. Or sometimes, like if it's rice and peas or even plain rice, yeah. put a piece of foil paper on top. over the pot and then put the lid on so that it seals in and whatever steam build up in there so that just cook the grains. So that's another so tip. You use plastic bag or, yeah. or cling film to put over the pot and yeah. then you put the lid out. Um, but we have our plate ready to dish up and show you what it looks like. We've had our main meal ready for the day. So this is going to be boxed, cooled, and then refrigerated for later in the week. So I hot. can't see the, the worst comment. Um, Muru Anglaise Cod Filet Poached in Milk. Okay. This is another name of a fish. Okay. Oh. And Amy, I can find frozen fillets but haven't seen anywhere salted. I if it's on Amazon. Try, Amy. The girl Lala chicken noodles <laughs> instead of cock soup. <laughs> and she also says red herring and salt mackerel. Yes, here. Okay, so Amy, you can try Amazon and see if you can find right. salt. Fish. Lala, where do you get salt fish from? But Lala lives in Florida. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Amy's all the way in Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah, yeah Lord, Lala is in Florida, so she would find all Jamaican special Jamaican food. stuff. And yeah, we'll try to order that on Amazon too. Thank you. So when hopefully when you watch it back, Amy, you'll get this step, step by step, exactly how you can make it yourself. And it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, broken arrow, Oklahoma, yes. <laughs> no, broken arrow, Oklahoma. <laughs> I remember. Right, do you want to check on the rice, Miss Joe? Yeah, I'll wash my hands and do that. Um, people. Is there anybody on? Can I ask oh. a serious question? Anybody on who has Samoya. not yet put Samoya. their thumb up? And has Moya left the building? Because we wanted Moya to give a shout out to her business to see if anybody else would be interested. And then bring her on another day live. It's near Tulsa. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yeah, we, we've he heard of Tulsa, but we don't know where it is either. But one day, one day, we might get to Tulsa, Oklahoma. Moya Grace, sorry for the delay. Okay. And Norma, Norma Jones. Oh. Yes, saw so colors using the plastic to steam the rice. Don't cook rice without using it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll use cling film. We use tin foil most times. But if, if not, then plastic will do. Um, even a Ziploc bag, just put it over. Um, Deborah says, first time I saw cock seasoning in this store, I thought it was funny. I never saw that. <laughs> we usually just use chicken. Now I'm familiar with cock soups. I actually use one the other night. We, we buy it all the time. Every, every time girls will come in, cock soup come in and chicken will too. <clears throat> Which one do you prefer? Cock soup. <laughs> Um, Yvonne, I have all the ingredients at my fingertips. Island life. Good. You know. And Moya, I think you missed my first comment explaining the business. Please check oh, them. Okay. 
I didn't hear it at all enough. Not here, we can't hear it. No, I, I didn't see it, I mean, sorry. Mm -hmm. More Much, I didn't know that no, no was, here. was here. Yes, we, yes, I said oh. that to him, brother. Is, is Bethany still in the building? Hi, beautiful ladies. Good day from Moya. No, the pot stands. Where I'll put them over. I can't see any more from Moya. I can smell you your food through my phone. I don't know where it's our business. Where what? I didn't see any business out here. I didn't see it. From Moya. I didn't see it, but she I thought you said. She said she said it earlier. So we're to go back and look. No. You first started to tell her to share her business idea. Yes. Here. Where did you see that? See what? That she has a business idea. Oh, she told us in the comment, not Today? this comment, no. Oh. So has she said she left? So oh. I'm not sure. Well, we leave it until another time, Moya. Do you want to bring the lid down a bit? Let me see if there's anything else. Um, June Johnson, hey, just popping in to say hi. You look very spiffy, spiffy in your aprons. Thank you. Very, are you hear that? Very spiffy. No, very spiffy. Thank you. Debra, my rice comes out better if I use my electric pressure cooker. Oh, we cook rice sometimes. Rice are used in a slow cooker. And Judith, late but still here. All right. Right on time. And Debra, I think she means what the name of the And you see the coconut the rice? Would be. Oh. And here's the... And Leonie Taylor. Ladies, I lost you. Oh, sorry, Leonie, but you're back. Welcome. Here's the... Steam uh, courgette and steam vegetables, courgette, carrot, yeah, um, celery, peppers, onions, garlic, scotch bonnet. What else was in there? Sweet pepper, sweet pepper, sweet pepper. from yellow onion. Red onion, white onion, white onion. Sorry, right, Miss so Inga. Hi, Jolisa. Welcome. <laughs> Oh, is Inga spoiled it enough? Sure, <laughs> Inga. <laughs> and hello, hat. Which hat is a hat? Samuel Delmos. I have to order my Jamaican food and spice from Sunland Caribbean store. Can anyone recommend anywhere elsewhere? I live in Surrey, UK, main oh. white area. Okay, Amazon? Amazon, yeah. Yeah. Amazon sell most. Or if there's a Tesco or Asda oh, yes. near to you, we get most things from Tesco or Asda. Very rarely they don't have what we need and we go to some Asian um, stores or shops. Amy, it all sounds really good. I don't get sweet pepper, though I'm mildly allergic. Okay. Oh. Moya Grace, no problem. Thank you, guys. Please keep up the great work. Thanks, Moya. So is Moya okay to come on, on our live to talk about it? Can you see that? This so is not done. just any food. This is Jolisa's coconut rice with steamed courgette, carrots, and other veggies. <laughs> and now we're going to taste. Would you like some? <laughs> <laughs> right. The girl Lala foods look delicious. Amy, that looks delicious. And Lala wants some. Come on over, leave that work and come taste food. <laughs> Sylvia Duncan food veggies. looks good. Where's that big crochet? There's the green veggie. In the bottom. Um, what was I saying? I need it again. 
the core shirt. Yeah, the big one. Is on short. Oh. There, guys. That's what's left. So this, we're going to cook maybe three more times. So four big pot of steam veg from one courgette. And it tastes just like cabbage. So you don't have any funny taste or weirdness. When you're eating it, it's just like you're eating cabbage and saltfish. Voila. Uh, voila. Uh, voila. How come nobody don't cuss me today? Nobody not cussing today. They are all good people. Right. Yeah, some cussing there. La, la, yes. Sylvia food looks good. Norma Jones, yum, yum, yum. Oh, Even time, Martin we have food, five minutes. wicked, no <laughs> joke. Deborah looks good. And Tasting Samuel. the steam. Oh, what's it called again? Courgette or Courgette. zucchini. Yeah, Amazon, bit expensive. Mm -hmm. My Tesco, not much Caribbean food at all. Mm -hmm. Food look nice, like like hot rice, all right? And Amy drooling, <laughs> and your girl Lala, wow. And Marjorie Brown, wow, that looks delicious. It's good, honestly. Amy, Salt fish, nice. That's a huge one. Amy says that's a huge one. They're smaller in the US. Amy, it's the same one. If the internet wouldn't go, I could show you in my garden. Now we have courgette, the same thing growing in there. But we pick them regularly and use them. But I'm going to leave one. When you leave one and it just stays and gets grows big, and grows big and grows. it gets big like this, and then you're able to use it like cabbage. You just grate it. Just grate it. Um, Inga, I missed the menu. What did you cook? Inga, you should really? have been here yesterday as part of the vote to decide, sorry, what we're cooking today. So, Inga, we cooked courgette with... With um saltfish and coconut rice. And Inga says hi Lala. And Inga says it looks good. And Moya Grace looks delicious. And Leonie Taylor din din looks yummy. We eat with dinner already, you know, people. Yeah. <laughs> we just cook this for sure, but we're gonna package dinner. it up still. Cool we're it, one package up and put it in the fridge. Hiya car, I'm disappointed it not ton car meal. Still the food will be nice. Well, you should have vote and call all of your friends and you vote for the ton car meal. <laughs> Amy, this the zucchini grows smaller overall in the States. No. It's the same it's one. The same one. one. But if you leave it there on the tree, on the little plant, it yeah. just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. Uh, like the size of a banana squash, if you have seen those in the USA. Yes, but it's the same thing. If you leave it on, it just grows. Inga, okay, nice. Amy, those large ones, yeah, would be great for filling cooking, yeah. June Johnson, your dish looks like a million bucks. No joke. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you, I can't do colors. Amy sucks. Pike says, that looks really delicious. It it's is. It's good, guys. It's really good. Coconut rice, I say one. <laughs> You want the glasses? Yeah. Turn off the stove lights, please. This is not just any food. This is Jolisa special food. <laughs> Woo. Right, mm. the vote, guys. Happens on Monday and Tuesday. Yeah. The yeah. vote for what we're to cook next is going to start on Monday. Did you put turmeric or curry in the rice? Because at first I thought it was ton mm -hmm. No, we just use coconut coconut milk or maybe the cock soup. The cock soup for flavor and also onion. That's it. And a little bit of butter. <laughs> Norma, you need to wash it down with some pineapple and melon juice. Okay, I'll take no drinking night night here. It's late. <laughs> Water. Samuel, have you sorted out the super chat yet? I'm like you. I can't handle technology. Don't know how colors learn so quick. Oh, <laughs> we haven't looked at it yet, but we will. Thanks for asking. Deborah, as colors would say, Isa, take your time. <laughs> Guys, it's been awesome. We're at 59 minutes, so we did it. Within the one hour, we've cooked and we've plated up and you've tasted you have a taste it. You smelled it. 
That was awesome, wasn't it? Thank you so much, guys. Thanks. Oh, as I said, the vote starts again on Monday. We'll give you two options for the protein part and two options for the carbs, um, for the accompaniment. And, and the cooking will be on Wednesday. Yeah. So and from now, we'll vote. yeah. So this is the first in a series of What's Cooking, cooking Wednesday. Wednesday. So Wednesday, every Wednesday at 6 o'clock, England time, we're cooking live. And your girl, Lala, take your time. Amy, no joke. <laughs> Lala, and don't be late. <laughs> Deborah, have a blessed night, ladies. Thank you so much. We look forward to seeing you on Monday for the vote. Tonight, we haven't got a video on. But tomorrow is the next Ooh. cooking adventure and it's premiering. Tomorrow is Eight outside o'clock. cooking adventure number two. <laughs> Epic. And if you don't have withdrawn, can we drone come? <laughs> Send over withdrawn. <laughs> Um, we still not find it yet, but watch it tomorrow and see. We have another video coming out tomorrow. Now, last week with us, how our week went last week. Okay, I think that's coming out tomorrow, but in the morning, yeah, before midday, and then in the evening, the premiere, the bad outdoor cooking. See ya. All right. Um, um, chicken gizzards. So nice, boy. Marjorie food looks nice. Isa, good night, ladies. Isa, take your time. No joke, and don't be late. <laughs> Remember again, happy birthday to AGG. Yes, one of our top fans who's always with us in the chat, and she had chemotherapy yesterday. A session. And today's her birthday. Today's her birthday, but she also has a I think a church Something program at church. On. Um, so remember her in your prayers and send her some wishes for a happy birthday. Thank you so much, guys. We've loved doing this. This video from today is sponsored by, by Jolisa.com. Bye. <laughs> I enjoyed the live and food. Uh, bye, bye, bye. Lord, please watch over AGG. Thank you yes. so much, Deborah. Bye, guys. We're off. Going to put up a foot now. Or we have prayer meeting in a little bit. What yes, time? 7 30. Oh, yeah. We still have 27 minutes. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs>